It's Maria and today I'm just going to show you a few basics that you should have for your sewing basket. I'll just go through what I have and offer you some suggestions as to where you can find them. Hey, so the first thing you'll need is a good pair of fabric scissors or fabric shears. You can get these at Amazon or your favorite fabric shop or craft store, Michaels, whatever. Um, just make sure that you're using them for fabric only. Don't cut paper, don't cut tortillas, don't cut whoop, anything else. I don't know what else you're gonna cut with these, but don't cut anything else because you will dull them. Another cutting tool you might want is rotary cutter. These are great for cutting uh, clean straight lines, whereas sewing scissors can sometimes leave a bit of a jagged edge. They come in two sizes that I'm aware of, a 45 millimeter and a 28 millimeter. I use both depending on what I'm cutting. Also, you don't need to use pins. You can use pattern weights, which is kind of nice because you're not piercing your fabric. Um, you will need a self-healing mat like you see under me if you're using a rotary cutter so you don't cut into your table. You can get those at Michael's, Amazon, fabric shops, the same thing with the rotary cutter. You will still need sewing scissors. Um, there's lots of times where you're going to find that the rotary cutter doesn't work. So it's better to have at least one size rotary cutter and the sewing shears. You're gonna want some thread snips. It is really hard snipping threads with big sewing shears. These you can find at, again, most craft stores. Some of them will look like this. Some of them will look like a little pair of scissors. Honestly, both will work. It'll just make it much easier trimming those threads. Okay, so for pinning, you really have two options, like your standard stick pin, dressmaker pin, whatever, and clips. Clips are really great for holding bulky items together. They're great if you don't want to pierce your fabric, like satin, or if you're um, trying to st stick tool together, not stick, attach it. Anyways, pins won't work for tool, so these clips are really great. I use them quite a bit. Um, you can get them from Amazon again or Fabric Shop. All this stuff is available on Amazon and uh, your fabric stores or Michaels. And then you have your stick pins, which uh, there's lots of times that you absolutely need them. They will keep your fabric in place. Um, but be careful. Do not sew over pins. I know lots of people do, but that is such a hazard. And you can damage your machine or your eye if a piece of it breaks off and uh, flies into it. So... Safety tip, don't do it. And safety tip number two, wear safety glasses when you're sewing. Okay, now on to my most frequently used tool, the seam ripper. Um, these usually come with your sewing machines. Uh, again, I'm not going to go through where you can buy them. You can find them anywhere that you shop for sewing stuff. You've got pokey end that you use to cut the stitches and then it comes with a brush. I use the brush to clean out my sewing machine, um, from lint, but I guess you could use it to brush thread snips away as well. Um, they will dull with use, so you're going to need to replace them. They're not super expensive. Um, you can get um, them in different colors. Um, but anyways, yeah, you're going to use it a lot. Okay, some other tools that you're going to want are measuring tools. I love my flat ruler. Um, I use it for measuring pretty much everything um, and drawing straight lines on my fabric and... Um, yeah, this gets probably the most use out of both of my measuring tools. Hmm. 
Um, the other one that you're going to want is a measuring tape. If you're taking measurements on yourself or another person or whatever, there's a lot of times where you're going to want a measuring tape as well. Not super expensive. Um, the one thing that you will need to do is replace it every once in a while because the measuring tape will stretch with use. Um, so every once in a while, check it against uh, like a grid ruler just to see if it's still accurate and if it's not, just replace it. Um, they both come with metric and imperial. Uh, yeah, you'll have these out all the time. Okay, pinking shears. Um, I don't like mine, but I use them quite a bit. They're great for cutting off the edges of your fabric, raw edges of your fabric before you pre-wash it so it doesn't fray in the wash and become this giant knotted mess. I use them if I don't want to zigzag for whatever reason or serge some of my seams depending on what I'm making. Um, another thing I have that's nice to have is a bobbin holder. Um, if you have a bunch of your lower bobbins loose they tend to unravel and it's really annoying and it creates this giant mess and I have a cat that gets into them and just like yanks them all over the place. So this keeps them nice and organized. I don't know why I only have five in here, but yeah, it holds quite a bit. Um, and uh, it's one of my favorite things. And last but not least is this friction pen. Um, it erases with heat or disappears with heat. Uh, so I use it instead of Taylor's chalk because I hate Taylor's chalk. It gets all over the place. It's messy. I don't like it. Um, one thing I've heard about these is sometimes in the sun, the marks can reappear, but I use it to mark on the inside of my fabric or somebody was sharing or on the selvage. Yeah, not selvage edge where the seam allowance is. So it'll trim away. Um, again, that gets used all the time. Oh, and the heat that you use to make the lines disappear and marks is your iron. Whoops, forgot to mention that. So that's pretty much it. That covers uh, what I would call basic supplies that you need. Um, I will do a second one with some more kind of nice to have supplies. You could spend like thousands of dollars on all kinds of sewing supplies. But when it comes down to it, pins, scissors, ruler, uh, your seam ripper, and something to mark your fabric. Those are the, the big ones. Did I forget something? I don't know. Uh, thanks for watching and if you like this video think about subscribing uh, I'll have some more content in the coming weeks and you guys have a great day